Hello YouTube. I picked this up today at Menards. I was looking for a handle for my old shingling hatchet head I redid. I'll have a video on that. And they had no handle that worked. They just had hammer handles. So I'm going to have to buy a big mall handle or something and modify it and shape it and everything for that project. They did have a $10 cheapy shingling hatchet and it really was cheapy too. The head was just junk. Uh, for just just a piece of junk. I may buy it just for the handle and take the handle out of it if I get it out without ruining it. But I spotted this for 13 bucks. One and a quarter pounds. I've already used it a little bit. And that little bubbling, I'll take a picture. That's just varnish bubbling up. There's nothing wrong with the edge. I'll snap a picture of that. That's just varnish. They varnish these to keep from rusting. Uh, I really like it. It fits my hand good. I can womp on bigger stuff, and I can still do small kindling with it for now. So, I wanted a kindling hatchet. So, I went through a couple pieces, uh, started like this big, and split off a few pieces. I can even make that smaller. So, this is some really stringy stuff too. It's elm, some kind of elm. But made in Mexico. I snapped a picture of that label. Uh, Ten year warranty at Menards. It says right on here. If it fails, bring it back, simply bring it back to original sales receipt to your nearest Menards. So I may never ever really put an edge on there unless I need to. So I don't need a real sharp for kindling. You don't want it razor sharp anyway, but it has a real good feel to it. I know some people like traditional wood, but when felt this in my hand and in the store and with a glove on, uh, it's even better with a glove on. So, not too bad to work on the steel. And that caught my attention. Not just the shininess, but how the steel is made and how the finish is on it. I never can get a shot that way, but they didn't drill a hole all the way through. There is a hole in there. It's not drilled all the way through. Put a lanyard in it. It's no beggy, but still, I mean, stuff gets overlooked, but <laughs> kind of laugh when I seen that. If I want to put a lanyard string or anything, I gotta finish drilling the hole. But I do like it. I figure it's worth making a video. I'm not getting paid to do this. It's not really a review. Uh, I like showing this stuff so I might see one and be interested in it. And I've seen them at Lowe's. I've looked online. You can look. You can look at Lowe's, Home Depot. Uh, the little S-Wing leather handled hatchet is too small for me. Their rubber blue handle one, even a short one, is a nice wicked little hand axe. And it's just too big long for me. I want something for kindling. I may own one just for the enjoyment of having it for chopping on wood, but this will do for this winter for kindling. It'll beat using this monster I worked on. Should have had this stuff ready. This is just too big of a monster to be using. I mean, this is a nice old tool, but it's just way too big. This is just too extreme. It's weighted odd. You're trying to choke up on to make kindling wood. It's worth it to spend the money not to get hurt. So, make just a short little video. Include some pictures. And I'm happy with it. So, thanks for watching.